Thank you, Sonny, for your contribution. His first comment, Chivobla, was whether or not the Supreme Court should have made a comment, you know, on the judgment of the Court of Appeal since they have no power over it. Uh, well, I, I, I don't think so. Um, I think um, the Supreme Court, as I said, is a court of review. Uh, the Supreme Court will always look at every paper that is contained in the record of appeal emanating from the a lower court. So I believe maybe that judgment of the Plateau State High Court uh, is in the record of proceedings uh, and also in the records of appeal because that, that position was canvassed in the election tribunal by the petitioner. It canvassed, so I believe they must have tendered you know, those proceedings uh, before the election uh, tribunal and then they went to the court of appeal and then the, the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court will always ensure that every relevant records, because the both parties are always invited for settlements of records at the registry of the appeal of the of the where the appeal is emanating from. So when they were preparing the records, or you know, for to uh, when uh, the governor of Plateau State appealed, I believe the, the the lawyers from both sides were you know invited by the registrar of the court of appeal to look at all the documents before moving the document the records to the court, supreme court so i believe the supreme court was seized of that of the records or seized of that yeah. judgment they, they if that they, was, they, they cannot make a pronouncement on what is not before it because it is a court of review review means looking at the documents and all that too to, in order to see whether there was an error, whether there was a mistake that should be corrected. That is the work of the Supreme Court as a court of review. Mukta has called it. Uh, um, just a minute, the, the, the sir. Second, let me take... The second... The, okay. Okay. Okay, let me just take this call briefly, and then I'll be back with you, Chief. Good morning, Mukhtar. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Good morning. How are you doing? Terrific. Please go ahead with the yeah. contribution. Yeah, yeah, I, I really commend you for the good job you are making. Thank you, Mukta. Yeah, I just want to make some few comments and complain as far as TBC is concerned. You see, the the viewers, the viewers in the Northwest, you are always neglecting when they call to contribute. To contribute. You are people always concentrate in others, like Yaakov, George, Pastor. You don't <laughs> consider the Northwest viewers. We patronize CBC as far as this program is concerned. But most of us are being neglected. Now, in the case of Supreme Court judgment, I really commend them and they save the nation. Yes, and we, the Supreme Court judgment really saved this nation. Really saved this nation because they did what is supposed to be done. I, I really commend them. All right. And the tribunal and the court of appeal, I think those judges should be punished because they know what they are doing is wrong. Thank you very much. Well, before you go, Mukhtar, I can give you my word that there is no bias to pick in the calls. We just pick the calls as they come. And because the conversation is ongoing, your call might also be delayed until there is room to pick the call. It's perhaps why we're able to pick your call as well. And I'm sure it's not the first time you've called on the show. So you should be able to also attest to that. Yeah, Chief, you were going to say something just now. Yes, um, I was going to say the, the, speak, the caller from London uh, yes. is, he was giving the impression that um, uh, judges have helped political parties to throw away their constitution. Yeah. Yes, I want to correct that impression. That, 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 I, I don't agree with that. You see, the lawyers are the lawyers, the Nigerian lawyers are the ones causing confusion or modern up, modern up issues. You can challenge their constitution, their process of nomination in through pre-election matters. Okay? That is before election. There's, there's room for you, for people who are grieved over party nomination process to go to the Federal High Court. And you can litigate from the Federal High Court right to the Supreme Court. But sometimes you see lawyers, because there's a thin line between uh, pre-election and post-election, some lawyers going to the election tribunal and then trying to smuggle in the nomination process under the guise that uh, maybe the person is not constitutionally qualified. 
like we saw them talking about the nomination process in Kano of NNPP, that the governor was not a member of MPP, and therefore he shouldn't have contested. They try to bring it under section 177 of the constitution that says that before you are eligible to stand for election, you must be a member of a political party. So that is where the confusion is coming from. And if you are not, uh, a, 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 if a judge is not very careful, you can easily got, get muddled up, you know, uh, because sometimes if you read the cases, it's, it seems as if, oh, you can go to election tribunal, you cannot go so, also to, to a pre-election court. So we should always try to encourage our, 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 our clients during, right. after the primary, uh, you know, pre, uh, primary election process where parties are, candidates are nominated. They, people should go to, you know, people from, who are challenging, you know, maybe the eligibility of a candidate that has been pronounced the winner of the party primary election. They should go to the federal high court that has jurisdiction and then try to push it to the Supreme Court. But when, right. while they are filing their petitions for, after election, they should concentrate on the Electoral Act, the infringement of the Electoral Act by INEC or the other party, and also the infringement of the constitutional provisions that has to, has to do with eligibility to contest. But if you try to model up and mix up nomination and qualification, then it becomes a problem, and that is right. why my, my, my friend from London is having this I, impression that... Uh, I hear you clearly, uh, Chief. The, the, the judges, the courts are throwing away yes. the party's constitution. Also, lastly, we should have good political parties. Those who are in the national executive committees of our parties should run the political parties like parasatas. Be transparent. Right. Be just. Be, they should also be, 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 be well-educated because... I expect all the political parties to start studying the judgments of the of the election tribunal, the Supreme Court. They should start studying. Them. Unfortunately, in the next it's like four a years, we should not see those keep, mistakes. The parties Again. keep making the same mistakes, you know, year in, you know, exactly. every election. Exactly, year. because they don't elect. Let's take, they don't elect let's take one last call. They Chief, don't elect. Before we go, elect, I let me make this one point. Fine. They, okay, okay, please okay. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Chief. Go ahead. They, they don't elect competent people to man. The, our, 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 our political parties. They are just running the, the, the political parties casually. They should run the political parties like parasitas, okay? And make sure that competent people are recruited, lawyers, accountants, you know, are, are, are recruited to work in the political parties, to help the political parties. You know, otherwise, uh, we, are, we are becoming, the, our political parties are becoming loving stock. Because they just bring people uh, uh, to come and, you know, take, become national chairman, uh, legal advisor, and so forth and so on. People who are not, you know, really competent right, and just and fair minded. Let's take, let's take one last call. Adenuga has called in from Songo. Adenuga, you have just one minute. Please go ahead. Thank you. You know what? By the, by the judgment of the Supreme Court, Nifemi, one yes. day a foreigner will become a governor and a president of Nigeria. <laughs> Since... Anybody, you know, the laws of the political party, they don't, a, a political party that willfully flout its own law is supported by the Supreme Court. One day, a, 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 a foreigner will be imposed as the president of Nigeria, and there's nothing you cannot do because of the president of that central bank has given as, as, as a set. And what I think electoral process is, electoral election is a, a process. And if Part of the of the process that is faulty should be sanctioned. If political parties have done wrong things and the Supreme Court is supporting it, look at Kano. They say that some election election papers were not signed, and the Supreme Court said that yes, it's okay. So next time you are giving energy and power to INEC to do the same subsequently because they have a backing of the Supreme Court now that says that look. If you don't even sign what you should sign, it is okay. Supreme Court judgment uh, judges are not, you know, God, and their their decisions sometimes are also wrong. We should also know that. So we should not say Supreme Court has said this and that is God. They are they are they are they are they are, they are, they are, they are, they are God. No. They are. All right. We have to go. Thank you so much for your contribution. You know they say if you don't get.
judgments at the Supreme Court, then you go to God. Uh, but I think the position on the foreigner is very clear that if you have a citizenship, if you were born in Nigeria and as a Nigerian and then you get a citizenship of another country, it, it still doesn't stop you from running for political offices in exactly. Nigeria. But exactly. that's our show today. Uh, thank you so much uh, for your contribution. I uh, have been speaking with legal practitioner and former presidential aide. He was uh, former senior special assistant to the president on recovery of public property, Chief Okoyo Bono Obla. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us on the program this morning. Thank you. That's our program, everyone. We're back tomorrow, God willing. The conversation continues on X, formerly Twitter. Remember to use the hashtag this morning and tag at Nifemi. Good morning.